Hi guys, so welcome back to my channel. So I've got here my um, Gypsy Rose journal that I'm doing a series on. Um, and basically I talked um, in an earlier episode about the cover. It's an altered book journal and um, I was trying to kind of decide what to do with the cover and I thought I'm going to paint it. I've painted covers lots of times before. Um, you know, often kind of do an altered book with a painted cover because I quite like how they turn out. But while I was thinking about it, I thought of that um, crackle glaze that everyone kind of used to use. And I thought, I'm going to try and do that. So obviously went to my first port, you know, port of call, which is YouTube, and discovered that, you know, you no longer have to use the um, crackle medium like you used to. But nowadays you can use kind of glue or, you know, Mod Podge and all sorts of things. I mean, I'm sure you always could. It's not just nowadays. But, you know, I guess kind of we all used to be kind of suckered into buying the medium um or I I certainly did so I kind of thought I'd have a go so I've kind of had a go at the front now I have got a confession to make that I did actually make a mistake on this you are supposed to obviously paint the bottom coat then Mod Podge and then use the top coat now unfortunately I painted the Mod Podge on first then did um the paint you know so I kind of forgot basically to do the first layer of paint so then I had to paint it then I had to mod podge it and then I had to paint it again so subsequently the cover is now quite thick um you know with paint so it's not exactly how I kind of have planned it to look I don't dislike it but it's not quite the effect I had hoped for also it's not overly crackled um it is in one or two places it could be that it's just not dried that well yet um i have dried it a bit with my heat tool and as you can see unfortunately it's here it's kind of crackled away if you see what i mean because obviously i opened it before it was wet and it got stuck um so i just want to kind of point those things out but i thought we could try and get the back of it right uh together and you know see whether we can or you know me me see whether i can kind of manage to get that right so I have got obviously my acrylic paint. Now this is the paint that I have used inside the journal. It's the sand, uh, the linen colour. So I'm going to paint first of all the, you know, a coat of that. So let me just wipe my brush, which is still green, obviously from the front cover. So again, I should have planned this better. Right, so I'm just going to literally very roughly paint the cover. And I mean, literally, I'm, you know, paying no attention to how I'm doing this. It's, you know, very rough and ready. It, you know, really does not matter. Because obviously we're going to be painting over this with the Mod Podge. So, you know, I don't know whether... The effect I've got on the front is because I have doubled up the Mod Podge layers or whether it's not quite dried enough or whether that's as good as the crackle effect gets. I mean certainly in other videos that I watched the crackle effect looked a lot better than that. Um, you know so <laughs> it, it remains to be seen but I thought we'd come and experiment together and kind of see how it turns out because um, you know, I know that I would be interested to know. So, we just literally kind of paint that like that. And then what we'll do is obviously I will dry that quickly with the heat tool. So, you have to just excuse me for a moment whilst obviously the heat tool is blasting. I still have not looked at a way of joining the videos yet. So, um, I'll have to excuse the noise for a moment. Okay. So luckily these heat tools are really nice and quick. I'm just going to dab off a very thick bit of the paint. Just in one or two areas where I've got it a bit thick. Okay. 
Okay, so that's kind of dry. Um, I mean, it's not 100%, but I'm sure it's good enough. So I'm just going to literally, you know, dab off one or two bits that kind of were looking a little bit wet still. Oops, that bit's quite wet. Okay. Now this is why I should really not do things on camera. Right, <laughs> okay. So I'm just going to dab off my brush a little bit. I'm sat at my son's desk here and I'm making such a lot of mess with the paint. I am such a messy crafter and I've said this so many times. If you watch my channel a lot, I'm sure you're familiar with me constantly saying what a messy crafter I am. I am covered in paint and so far I have only painted obviously the front cover. Um, <laughs> you know, and that little bit of the back cover. I don't know why I have to get so messy. I don't know quite, you know, why some people... Or how, how some people manage to kind of do all these things and get no mess anywhere at all. But I am definitely not one of those people, unfortunately. So, um, yes, that's that's me. <laughs> I don't really mind, to be honest, but um, I just am intrigued how other people manage to do things without getting in such a mess. And as I'm doing this, I can see kind of paint and it's flicking onto my son's desk and things. So I shall have to obviously scrub his desk down now <laughs> when I finish the video. It's just not good. Not good at all. Right. Now, according to all of the tutorials that I saw, you then paint straight on to the wet Mod Podge. So I obviously did that last time. I will do that again this time and trust that that is correct. So I'll just squeeze some paint out here. And we'll just hope for the best that kind of that is right, painting onto the wet Mod Podge. And then we'll see kind of what the results are like in a moment. So let me just move that there out of the way. I mean, as I say, you know, the front's fine. It's it's not quite how I had in mind, um, but I don't dislike it. It, you know, it is fine. It's just not quite what I had in mind originally. Um, but you know, sometimes these things are kind of they turn out better when they're kind of not as you originally plan, aren't they? So um, you know, we'll kind of just work with it anyway. So. I've obviously put far too much paint on here. So, actually, whilst we're waiting for that, I have also got some card here to the side. Let me just put it in. And I thought we could just try a piece on the card. So, I will just use a little bit of the paint here. So, we'll just use a bit of the green here. And then... <clears throat> What we could do is kind of experiment both using the wet Mod Podge method and also the dry Mod Podge. So we'll have one side with the wet and one side with the dry. So I'll just... Good way to use up all the paint, the excess paint that we don't need. And I mean, again, obviously, you know, kind of depending on the thickness of the paint is going to going to depend on the results that you get. So, you know, it's quite nice to be able to experiment, really. I hope this is going to be an OK video, <laughs> not just such a disaster. But um, it's helpful to nobody, really, because that would be a shame. I have also got the um, tacky glue, which, you know, lots of people recommended. So I'm going to actually paint another piece here that we will obviously use the tacky glue and see how the results are for that as well. So again, I just use a bit more of the paint, the excess paint, like that. Okay. Just put a bit here so that we can do the same with the tacky glue using some wet and some dry again and kind of see how that kind of results. So, like that. 
Okay, so I'm going to move the piece of card out of the way for a moment. I move the paintbrush. In fact, I would just wipe the paintbrush off slightly. Ready for um, kind of doing our experiment. So if I just bring my heat tool back, as you can see, my heat tool is covered in paint as well because of my messy crafting. So everything I touch is just covered in paint. And so I'm going to move that to one side and we're just going to do, um, you know, have a play with the card. So a whole lot there dropped off of the shelf. So I've now got masses of paint now on my son's desk. So let me just wipe it up quickly. Definitely this is not the thing to be doing on a video experimenting with paint when you're a messy crafter because um, I've actually dabbed the whole of the cover, obviously as it fell off. So I'm trying to just smooth that over a little bit. Let me show you what happened. It's not looking too attractive now. So I wonder if I'd be able to smooth that out a bit with the brush. Okay. Well, it's not brilliant, but it's fine. Okay. I'll just tap it a bit with my fingers. I can't wait to get my fingers in, you see, getting all messy. Right, pop that out of the way. And obviously there's now paint all over the desk, but I will just give the desk a thorough clean after I finish. Right. So these ones, obviously, we're just going to quickly finish drying these off. I mean, the effect really, it could be, you know, that it is not sufficiently dry yet for the crackle to have taken effect. Um, I don't know. But yeah, so far, I'm not overly impressed, really. But, you know, I'm sure that other people have had much more success than me. So um, it's probably something I'm doing right so what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the Mod Podge on here, like that. I'm going to put the Mod Podge on this one, like that. I'm going to dab my brush off and then I'm going to just use some paint. forgotten what I was doing and I've now put the paint on both oh dear what is going on with me today right let me dab that off completely gosh I can only really apologize and if you are new to my channel and have never watched a video of mine before oh, I, I just want to say I'm not normally like this but I don't quite like to say that in case I am but right now I need more tissue, so let me just get some more tissue from here. So hold on guys, right, there's more tissue here. At least I have plenty of tissue with me. Right, I must only put paint on this one. Come on. Oh, it's now not coming out. Right, so I'm going to just very roughly just paint that like that okay and then whilst that's drying quickly I'm going to use the tacky glue now just just because I'm obviously being very scatty today and things have not gone as planned. I'm going to just write on here. Now the tacky glue, I mean, essentially it's kind of PVA. So I'm just going to write here, PVA. And on this side, MP for the Mod Podge. Just because I am being very scatty and you know, no doubt I will then forget which side is which. So just to be on the safe side, we, we will actually kind of mark it. So I'm just going to kind of squeeze out plenty of the PVA and again up here now what I probably should have done was obviously taking the lid off to get a really big squelch of it out but never mind 
So then I'm just going to spread that out like that. And then we'll spread this one out like that. Okay. Now, and again, I must remember, we're leaving these two to dry. I'm just going to literally pop some paint on the one that we are doing wet. So up here, like that. Turn this round and then we just spread the paint like that. <clears throat> Now, it will be quite interesting to see which is better, PVA or the Mod Podge. Obviously, you know, on the book cover, mm, I wasn't loving the Mod Podge results, but, you know, who knows? And I'm sure that probably is just me, but let's have a look. Okay, now that was taking a very long time. So, the Mod Podge and the PVA don't look quite dry, but, I mean, certainly the Mod Podge is dry to touch, but I suspect this is a bubble and beneath that it's probably wet. The PVA is still quite tacky. Um, now, by the looks of things, the Mod Podge has produced slightly better results. Let me just check that I am in frame here with holding this up. If you can see, we've got a little bit of crackling down here and here. I personally can't see any crackling on the PVA at all. It may be that it's just not dried yet. Um, I don't know. I don't know. So uh, what we'll do now is obviously try the, the dried Mod Podge and the drier PVA. Now I'm just not going to wait for the PVA to dry completely because, you know, this may turn out to be quite a lengthy boring video for people so we're just going to paint that over the mod podge there and the pva on this side like that Okay, and I will just move now the brush out of the way. And I just really apologise, guys, because I'm going to have to get the heat gun back again. So I really am so sorry about this. Right. <clears throat> so as you can see, hopefully, hopefully you can see, I'll lift it up. They have appeared to not crack at all on the dry PVA and Mod Podge. So... The tutorials that I picked up were right, that you do indeed have to use wet Mod Podge to put your paint over. Um, it is slowly beginning to crack slightly more, I think, as it's drying more. Um, yeah, I'm not hugely impressed, but, you know, I'm sure with a bit of practice, it would perhaps be better. Um, you know, it's hard to say. Let's have a look again at the cover. And see whether that's kind of um you know improved at all obviously i did drop this and it now you know i yeah mucked it up quite a bit um the front cover is gradually drying more and more i don't know really whether i would say it's cracking anymore um it's very hard to say so i'm going to kind of crack on with crack on excuse the pun with trying to dry the rest of the back cover um yeah, and I will obviously let you know kind of in my next video that I do or a future video what I thought to the crackle and if it obviously dries any more significantly than this or cracks any more significantly than this as it dries, if that makes sense. So undecided at the moment. Love to hear um, everybody's kind of feedback below because I'm sure that loads of you guys have probably tried this um, method and you probably have much more you know successful results than me 
and yeah I would really like to kind of hear your thoughts and any kind of tips for doing this because I do love crackled um, paint and I think it looks really awesome so yeah so I hope that this hasn't been a complete waste of your time uh, I do apologise if it has and I apologise for the length of time we had to obviously spend with the heat gun on so thank you very much for tuning in um, and I hope that in some ways this was slightly useful Okay, thanks very much for watching. Thanks, bye.